Hey campers, George here, back in the man cave. Yeah, just looking at some weird stuff. Been looking for something different. And hey, what do you know? I found it. And who with? Rough Rider, my favorite guys. This guy. Let's check it out. So as I was saying, <laughs> I was bored. Surfing the internet, looking for something different. I have seen pictures of elephant toe knives. And I thought that is, to say the least, unusual. So I was just sw swiping around. And I, uh, before I go any further, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I don't know what it is, but their new website is killing me. Every time I go on there, I can't get to where I want to go. I put a search in, I get it. I want to look at it, disappears, pops up something else. Do the search again, get different results. Frustrating. And you know, it forces me to go elsewhere. Anywho, got that out of the way. Check this out. The Blue Mule. Yeah, they say it's a work knife from Rough Rider. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, elephant toe, right? Uh, not so much. I didn't know it at the time. Anyway, click, ship it. <laughs> what do you do? It arrived today. Nothing like I expected. I still haven't learned to really look at the specs on it. That's what I was doing right now. Because the shock and horror, this guy, is way bigger than I thought it would be. See that? Now, I know elephants are big. And their toes, they're even bigger. Trust me, I've seen them. But this is way bigger than I thought. Look at that. Look how big that guy is. And I've got to tell you, it weighs about two or three tons. <laughs> Kidding. It's really heavy. It's very heavy, but looking at it, it's nice and clean, kind of like the Makata handle on it. It's very smooth. It's well made. It's, if anything, solid. So you can see here, you know, you've got your, your pins. There is, interestingly enough, no badge on it or anything like that. Two huge bolsters, which you need. You'll see what I mean. And this Makata, blue Makata, handle. See that? Very nice. It's well made. There's no gaps anywhere. You can see on the liners there, it's got the, you know, your brass lines, typical for a Rough Rider. And then I open the blade. Uh, uh, look at this guy. <laughs> that blade, it's an inch deep. <laughs> yeah, look at it. And it's not exactly thin either. Wow. Uh, feels sharp. And this obviously, I'm going to say spear point. Let me check that. The blade is 440A stainless steel. And it says it's a spear point. It ha they say two blades on it. I'm looking at the SMK website. Finally found it. And uh, they say spear point, two blades. And I thought, yeah. They're both spear points. Ooh. And I've got to tell you, they both have half stops, by the way. And uh, yeah, I suppose that is a spear point. When, when you have a spear point small like this, <laughs> can't exactly say that that's small. I mean, look at the size of this guy. And then that one. I, I think of it as a pen. Especially when I look at this. See the Ricasso here? And it's got the little uh, choil there. And then it, it's more like a pen. The problem is, it's way thicker than your normal pen blade. But it's still, when you look at the thickness of this guy, versus the thickness of that guy. Wow. I, I can't believe the size of this thing. Not only that. Wow, not so sure I want this in my pocket. It's uh, it's kind of heavy. Now, it is a slip joint. It doesn't lock, which doesn't surprise me. Just about any traditional knife, whether it's Rough Rider or anybody else, 
they're all slip joints. But this, like I said, it does have the half stop. You can see there. But it's just, it's different. And that's why I got it. What, what can I say? Look at this guy. These bolsters, by the way, are huge. Look how big and thick they are. I suppose if you have a knife this big and this heavy with these blades, you want solid bolsters. Rough Rider, Blue Mule. I actually thought it was an elephant toe, which I suppose, kind of, sort of, just didn't expect it to be this big. Let's have a look at the specs a little bit deeper. <laughs> oh, you drop this on your toe, it's going to sting. <laughs> How much does it weigh? Say it here. Blade length, model number, and Rough Riders, restrictions, no, slip joint, folding knife, G10. The handle is G10. Uh, plain edge, 440A stainless steel, like I said. Blade thickness, 0 0.06 of an inch. Yeah, look at these guys. They don't give a weight on it. You know, I'm, I'm going to make a note. <laughs> right now, in my This Is What You Need To Do book, <laughs> scale, small. All right, made a note of that. It's not like I look in that book every day, though. But hey, it'll remind me eventually. Back to this guy. So they say the clothing is four, is four and a quarter inches. Let's have a look at the specs here. Mine shows a little bit shorter than four and a quarter. And that'll be from bolster to bolster. Open. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> look at that. That's open. <laughs> Nine inches and a little bit. Tip to tip. That's some length right there. Wow, okay. The big giant spear point from the tip to the the bolster. Two and seven eighths. The working edge is two and a half. So from the tip to the bolster here, two and seven eighths to the choil, your working edge, two and a half inches. Pretty big. It has the nail neck with the match strike, which is pretty standard on traditional stuff. You can see it. This is the only marking on it that says it's a Rough Rider. You see that? That's it. On the blade here, it says the model number, the R2173, and made in China, which is where Rough Rider has always made their stuff. The little blade. From the tip to the bolster, two and a quarter inches. The working edge, one and three quarter inches. So even the little guy's pretty big. <laughs> I just can't believe the size of this guy. Look at that. Putting it in my hand here. See that? Now, I will say this. Right on the box here, it says Rough Rider Blue Mule working knife. That makes sense. This you could do a lot of damage with. It's heavy duty. You know, the, the steel, what did it say? 440A, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Now you see I'm lost on my thingy here. So that's standard. Pretty heavy. The, I, I will say this, the blades are kind of sort of sharp. And I'm looking. Yeah. It's such a thick blade, but it's cutting the paper just not cleanly. And the little guy is a little better because it's a little thinner. You have to learn how to use the knife though first. So it kind of cut that. But really, this is a working knife. This is not your, your EDC in your pocket carry around open letter knife. I suspect this is a little bit heavier than that. Well, I know it is. It would be an interesting knife. It's just so big and so heavy. Will you cut the cardboard? Oof. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned. Ready? Ooh, it barely gets through the wood. Look at that. I mean, it cuts it. it uh, yeah, these are going to have to be sharpened. Now, I was just looking on, on the, the website there. Oh, let's cut. This should cut. You know, the pen cuts better. We'll cut that. Yeah. Interesting enough, the full description on this, 
although it says on the box, uh, Blue Mule Working Knife, the description on the website says, Rough Rider Blue Mule Sunfish, which I think is the style, right? What do I know? I just think it's different. It's pretty cool. I had to get it. Don't have one. I love Rough Rider. I should have one. So now I do. Very unusual. And it's got some weight. It would actually... This is a heavy-duty EDC work knife. Is what it is. Heavy-duty being the operative words there. Even You notice even the bolsters are clean. No R's or anything on the bolsters. That surprises me. But I suppose that's the style. The sunfish. How much did I pay for it? That much. Not going to break the bank with that. And that's a lot of steel for that much. What do you do? Can't complain about that, I suppose. And you know what? It's another knife for my Rough Rider collection. And I like Rough Rider. And for that price, it doesn't even break my budget. It's pretty good, actually. Wow. So there you go. The Rough Rider Blue Mule Sunfish Folding Knife. Right there. See that? Very cool. <laughs> I mean, it's clean and everything. I like it. I like it. It's just so unusual. It's, you know, I think what makes it unusual is that, that shape. You know, it's a giant tadpole. And I believe the, the elephant toe is a little bit smaller. And then you got this guy, the sunfish. Huge. Huge. <laughs> Gotta love it. You will be safe out there, especially with these guys. You drop this guy on your foot, it's going to sting. Just saying. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> you know the story. Pretty sure I'll be back. I was just excited about this when I pulled it out. I was like, wow, I've got to show this to you guys. I don't know if you guys know about these or have seen them. I'm pretty sure you have. I know they've been around a while. It's now part of my clip. It's interesting though, they work knives. On you it says Rough Rider Blue Mule Work Knives. That series has got to be more than one, right? Work Knives. Maybe I should look at that. But, you know, like I said, uh, Smoky Mountain changed their website. I really liked their website. One of the reasons was if they had this knife and it was Work Knives, the collection, they had a link where you could click on that and go and look at the rest of that series. They don't have that now. Frustrating. And of course, I waited like three months before I could actually use the website. What do you do? Hopefully, it'll get better. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.